Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about goals. Alexander on oh, no. Not, not those goals? Oh well. Okay, who doesn't love a good pun? But all jokes aside, today I'm going to show you how you can set goals in Microsoft Teams. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So, we can use Team Flex to create goals within Microsoft Teams, and we can align those goals with any of the teams we have. In Microsoft Teams. So to do that first we go to Teams and you can see that we have two teams labeled all employees and marketing. So let's go to post. I've set teams a lot. So first we say new conversation and then I click the team flecked icon. Let's dial it back a second. If you can't see this icon in your screen that means you have to install Team Flect, and I can help you with that. All you need to do is go to Apps and search for Team Flect. There's our app, and we click on it, and we can simply download it from here. That's it. I click the plus and select New Team Flect Goal, and there's our panel. So. Here first, I pick the goal owner. So we'll assign it to Adele. So I'll write Adele, and I can also assign it to myself. So what type of goal is this? I can make it individual, self-development, or company goal. So this one's an individual. And there's the title. And I can write a description right here. And how do we measure this goal? By a percentage, or value, or anything else? I can pick a parent goal, I can select a custom date. So this is a three month goal. So let's start here. And let's go down and pick January. So that's three months. I can check if this goal is private or not, and I can make it private if I want to, but this one's public. So if I create it as it is, this goal will be Adele's only. But if I click on related groups and pick a certain group, then this goal will be assigned to both Adele and the group. Now this goal is aligned with the all employees group. And let's create it. Now we have a goal created. There's a card. And I click enter and I can send it. And if I click on see goal, I can see our goal. And I can also go to the plus and add a tab here. Let's add Team Flect to our channel. There's our screen. Let's save it. And there you have it. We have a tab called Goals here now. And below it, we have our goals. And you can see the goal we just created right here. And all the content. Right? I can update the progress. I can change the status or close the goal. I can see, our, see my progress updates and all the information related to the goal. So, as you can see, since the related group was all employees, I can see all the goals here. And for a more detailed view of the goal, I can just go to the main TeamFlect dashboard. Now, isn't that pretty? And let's go to goals. Let me go to groups and go to all employees. See, it's all relatively straightforward. And right here, I can see again, the all employees goals right here. And I can switch to feed view. 
and see the entire goal progress data in a chronological format. So as you can see, Miriam has taken it from 0% to 67%. I can click on it and view the goal like that. I can see everything chronologically in feed view. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Subscribe for more helpful content, click the link in the description and schedule your free demo with Team Flick. This has been Emre, have a great day. Team Flick, build teams that deliver.